I think like many of my colleagues, the reason that we got into geology is because we worked outside, uh, you know, in the wilderness. I've never regretted that because, you know, the field has taken me to uh, remote parts of, uh, <coughs> of the world, almost everywhere. Most of my research has been uh, on the study of how uh, large magma bodies uh, solidify. In particular, I've been working on the Bushveld complex uh, in South Africa. It's uh, gigantic in terms of its size. It's uh, like more than 400 kilometers across. The Bushveld uh, provides something like 75% uh, of the world's platinum. One of the things that I've studied in the Bushveld is how these uh, deposits form. A lot of my research has involved going into the mines, into the platinum mines, where I've uh, made very detailed um, maps uh, of the mine walls and made detailed collections of rocks that I have then studied. I like to go out in the field uh, at least once a year. If I miss a summer going out in the field, I feel deprived. There are two really remarkable places that I've been. The one is uh, Antarctica. Uh, the Dry Valleys. I was there with a group of geologists uh, several years ago. Uh, and then Greenland. I love Greenland and uh, I've been there several times uh, working on the oldest surface deposits on the planet which date back to about 3.8 billion years uh, old. And in the field the most important tool we have is a big hammer. Uh, it has to be a very big hammer and it has to be beautifully well balanced because uh, you know, we've, uh, I, I work in rocks that are really hard and dense, so you really have to pound on them to get good samples. I would want people to see me as an original thinker. I, I mean, I, you know, science is an endeavor that we um, identify ourselves with on a very personal level. It's an ultimate expression of our humanity as much as painting something might be an expression and our attempt to uh, you know explain the world around us so from that point of view science is a very philosophical and serious uh, endeavor and also a very personal one